This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seven Adventists, and I'm Stanley Fillard. Coming up in this week's broadcast, viewers encounter Jesus, chains are broken, and lay persons empowered to speak for Christ. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. The South Bahamas Conference of Seventh Day Adventists continues to blaze the trail in public evangelism. Every weekend, a number of our churches host services in house that can also be viewed via the internet. But during the evangelistic campaigns, persons have been flooding social media. The Groundstown Church began a series on the book of Daniel under the caption Encounter Jesus with Pastor Leonardo Rami. The viewers have been learning about prophecies as they move throughout the scriptures. You must understand that as we study together, night after night for the next 12 nights, God himself will reveal amazing truths to us. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel is divided into two sections, prophecies and stories. The prophecies deal with the great epic periods through history and point us to a period called the time of the end. The stories talk about how to prepare for that time of the end with character qualities such as faith and courage and hope. You know, the stories reveal how the prophecies reveal when. And now let me ask this question. Listen to me tonight. What is the purpose of prophecy? First one, purpose uh, for prophecies such as Daniel's prophecy is to enable God's people to prepare for the future. Knowing what's coming keeps us clearly aware and enables us to understand the future. Second, the more you study prophecy and see its fulfillment, the more it builds confidence in the Bible, the Word of God. And these meetings continue until March 27th. The Bethany Church is also in meetings under the title, Chains Are Broken with Pastor Jamal Franklin. The series being held on YouTube has been addressing non-communicable diseases and other health challenges that persons are facing, including COVID-19. Pastor Franklin has been talking to the viewers about who they can turn to in the midst of every trial. These seven women represent the entire religious world because the number seven is the number of entirety, the number of completion, the number of cycle in the Bible. And these seven women represent the entire circular completion circuit cycle religious world. And these women are caught up in the conditions of the times as outlined in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 4 when the Bible says this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous, boasters, proud blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful unholy, without natural affection truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good traitors, heady, high minded lovers of pledges more than lovers of God and having a form of godliness but denying the power they are from such turn away that is the counsel from the apostle from such turn away you see my brothers and sisters there's no power in your tradition there is no power in the forms of your worship there is only power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. The problem and the reason why you can't have your chains broken is because you're relying on false prophets and false teachers to do for you what only God can do for you. The children of the church have also been highlighted during these meetings as they display their talents. This series concludes on Saturday, March 20th. And the Centerville Church has engaged laymen from their congregation to preach under the theme, I Will Go. There has been powerful messages, inspirational music, and financial nuggets to empower the viewers. Therefore, and when he died on the cross and paid the price, there was no need to sacrifice animals. Let me ask you a question. If you committed a sin, and you were among the children of Israel, uh, and you chose to bring a lamb, would that be all right? Before Christ died, it would be necessary, more than all right. Sunday morning, after he rise, 
Would that be all right? Unnecessary. Unnecessary. And this is how simple it is. But the devil uses all kinds of things to throw us curveballs so that we could get confused. And, and they end up throwing up some of the Ten Commandments with Moses' law. They mix all the laws together and they throw out a lot of things. And some even get to the point where they say, grace is no longer necessary. Or, or the law is no longer necessary because we have grace now. Elder Bradford said it, put it this way. He said, amazing grace that excuses me. Uh, it's the disgrace of the gospel of the wrong kind of grace. These campaigns are available on YouTube and Facebook on the various churches' channels and pages. Next week, we will hear more about how our churches are taking up the mandate, empowered by Christ, I will go. We'll be back with the upcoming events in our conference. Global Youth Day has been a day that young people around the world look forward to. This past year, many of us had to stop our plans due to COVID-19. Instead of going out to impact the community, we held a prayer session over the youth and those fighting this new virus. 2020 was not what we expected, but we are sure that 2021 will be different. We are calling for all young people, adventurers, pathfinders, ambassadors, young adults, and public campus ministry students to start planning for Global Youth Day 2021. Prepare to be the sermon, to be the hands and feet of Jesus, whether it's in person or virtual. Global Youth Day 2021, reaching out, cultures, colors, and communities. Welcome back to Adventist News. Coming up in the South Bahamas Conference, the Spirit of Prophecy segment of our conference will be hosting a series called Meeting Ellen White on March 25th at 7 p.m. You are invited to come and learn of her marriage, separation, diet, health, humor, and maybe some other things you did not know about her. Information on how to connect to this meeting can be found on our conference website. The Message of Hope Church family is hosting an evangelistic series entitled The Jesus and Me Gospel Campaign with evangelists Leonardo Ferguson and John Garcia. You are invited to join in with the study of the Word of God, listen to health features, and even get a surprise. The meetings are being held from March 14th through 27th at the rear of the former Bahamas Academy compound on Wolf Road at 7 p.m. nightly. The services will also be live on Zoom, as well as the church's Facebook page at MOH Nassau and YouTube channel at Message of Hope. The Grandstown Church is also in an evangelistic campaign with speaker Pastor Leonardo Rame. The Encounter Jesus Daniel series will be held online during the week from Sunday to Thursday on the church's Facebook and YouTube channel at 7.30 p.m. Saturdays are in-house at 8.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. For more information on these events, please visit our conference website at southbahamasconference.org where you can view our news update along with other programming from our cable channel, ATV 658, read the weekly logos, and the Adventist page publication from the NASA Guardian. Hypertension occurs when there is an abnormal rise in the body's blood pressure. Blood pressure is the amount of force applied to the walls of arteries. Arteries are blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart to supply tissue with oxygen and nutrients. When too much pressure is applied, it can damage the walls of arteries, which will become weak and form an aneurysm. Not only can an aneurysm form and rupture, but buildup of plaque can occur, causing less blood to pass through the heart valve. High blood pressure can cause many issues such as damage to your arteries, heart, brain, kidneys, and eyes. Also, hypertension can lead to heart disease, stroke, and even death. Normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. When the systolic pressure is over 130 and the diastolic pressure is over 80 and stays high over time, it's considered hypertension. Here are ways to control blood pressure without the use of medication. Lose extra pounds and watch your waistline. 
as blood pressure usually increases as weight increases. Being overweight can cause disruption in breathing while you sleep, which then further rises your blood pressure. In general, men are at risk if their waist measures 40 inches or more, and women are at risk if their waist measures 35 inches or more. Exercising regularly and doing exercises such as jogging, walking, cycling, or swimming for 150 minutes a week can help to lower high blood pressure. Maintaining a healthy diet, which contains whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, can lower blood pressure. Try keeping a food diary to keep track of your eating habits. Boost your potassium intake, as potassium can lessen the effects of sodium. Foods rich in potassium include bananas, peas, and potatoes. Reduce your sodium intake by reading food labels and eating fewer processed and canned foods. Reduce stress, as chronic stress can lead to high blood pressure. Ensure that you monitor your blood pressure at home and see your doctor regularly. This has been Parisha Ferguson with your health tip, courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. We go now to our news feature from around the world with the Adventist News Network. Three churches in Fiji's Western Division have started what they never would have thought possible, an open bar that sells natural herbal juice to fight against non-communicable diseases. Votualevu, Namaka, and Nadi English Seventh-day Adventist churches teamed up to open B2 Wellness Center, or B2 Bar, as it is commonly known, a wellness bar in the heart of the nation's tourism capital, Nadi. With, with rapidly increasing rates of non-communicable diseases, Fiji is in the midst of a public health crisis that is closely linked to changing lifestyles. The three churches have taken on the responsibility to fight against lifestyle diseases, which have become the number one killer in the country. B2 Bar founder and 10,000 Toes coordinator for the Trans-Pacific Union Mission, George Kwong, said, It is through the message of health that we are sharing God's love to our customers who are secular or members of other Christian denominations. It is spreading the message of health, of love, of compassion to not only believers, but non-believers as well. The bar serves natural juices from herbs such as golden seal, mile a minute, and fruit and vegetables like kumquat, carrot, and celery, among a range of others. While herbal juice in Fiji has been used for centuries to cure cuts and illnesses, it hasn't been widely consumed as a means for improving holistic health. By visiting B2 Bar, Fijians are encouraged to revisit a more natural, holistic approach to health. At the bar, enthusiasts can track their health through various initiatives such as the fat loss program, immune boosting program, a weekly medical screening, and through personalized nutrition. That brings us to the end of our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Please feel free to share what is happening at your church by sending us your news stories and upcoming events by email to SBC Adventist News at gmail.com. To view a rebroadcast of the Adventist News along with other programming, or to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, you can visit our conference website at southbahamasconference.org. Like, follow, and subscribe to our Facebook and Instagram pages, as well as our YouTube channel. And on behalf of the production team of Adventist Television Channel 658, thank you for watching our news broadcast. I'm Stanley Fullord to the SBC Media Network. Have a happy Sabbath.